Welcome back to News Across Nigeria. The Enugu state government has concluded plans to commence tree planting across the state as a commitment towards reconnecting the people to nature. According to the Enugu State Commissioner for Environment and Mineral Resources, Mr. Fidel Ayogo, countless human actions and technological development have led to a distortion of the ecosystem. He says tree planting will introduce balance and address some critical effects of deforestation. There is a balance that ordinarily there should be a given quantum of carbon dioxide, methane, sulfuric acid, and all these gases in the atmosphere that keeps nature in this ecosystem. But because of the emissions, because of pollutions, and because of the uh, global warming, you know, resulting from global warming, most of these things are changed. So the world is now turning, being critical, and finding out that getting back to nature is the thing that will give us, give this, the, give us the shared, the, the, the world shared environment, what we need. So we are now saying that we have to get back to the nature, that there is need for afforestation, that is tree planting. And then we have the, in the program and in the budget of this year, tree planting, that we have a mark that we take uh, place in this June. You know, it's a big uh, state function. And then uh, we are having the nursery of these trees you know, in many parts of the country, in many parts of the state. The Federal High Court sitting in Lagos has ordered the final forfeiture of the money found at Flat B, 7B, 17 Osborne Road, Ikoyi, Lagos. Justice Sule Hassan ordered that $43.4 million, 27,800 pounds, and 23 million naira be permanently forfeited to the federal government of Nigeria. Before granting the order of final forfeiture, the court dismissed an application filed by a lawyer, Kayode Ogungbeje, Ogungbeje, seeking a stay of proceedings of the final forfeiture for a lack of merit. In April, the EFCC had acted on a tip-off from a whistleblower and found the monies valued at 13 billion naira in total. And residents of Ilori Dukwara State Capital can now enjoy advanced broadcast viewing following the launch of the digital switch over by the Nigeria Broadcasting Commission. Director General of the NBC, Ishak Kao, says the launch is in line with the Commission's policy to ensure households migrated from analog to digital. And now we're going to six states in each of the geopolitical zones. So Kwara in the north central, Oshu in the southwest, Gombe in the northeast, Kaduna in the northwest, uh, Enugu in the southeast, Delta in the south-south. We're going to have to do it in phases because digital switchover is a major challenge uh, in terms of uh, technology, in terms of the logistics and the finance. The 650,000 boxes that we procured for the first phase, for that phase, cost us $26 million. That's a huge amount of money, considering that we're having about 35 million television homes in Nigeria. So each box is about $45 per box. So if you times $45 times 35 million, that tells you how much money we need just for the boxes alone. And then you're going to have to put signal systems like this around Nigeria. It's a very, very huge country. So it's a very expensive process. So that's why we're doing it. Uh, in a phased manner and we're given a bouquet of 30 programs which will continue to expand as more and more producers of television uh, content come on stream then we're going to have thematic themes uh, themes as uh, stations as well what do i mean we might have stations dedicated only to producing women's programs children's programs youth-based programs sports uh, science and technology and and so on and so forth and that's the program for you today. Very many thanks for staying with us. I'm Imana Amale. Bye-bye.